Western core is a really big trend this fall. And as I was really thinking about, do I do another video on it? I did tell you a couple weeks ago that it would be one of the things to look for on sale right now. But I have heard so many people so excited about this trend. I thought, you know, I better step in and at least give you a little guidance for Western Core this season. So here's the thing. I really, 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 really want to encourage you not to go overboard with this trend. Now, if you live in places where Western wear is always popular, then you already know how to rock it. You already know how to do it. But mo for most of us in the country, in the U.S. at least, we're really, Western court isn't a thing. I live in North Carolina and it's like, we don't wear cowboy boots. We don't wear jackets with fringe. And so it's going to be everywhere though. I went, I've been in several stores recently and it's the only pretty much boot that you can find. Jackets are showing up with fringe. All uh, you know, lots of leather and leather, obviously, that's not the Western core look, but lots of leather that is. So I'm just going to walk you through a couple of key trends, actually just two of them. And I'm going to show you examples based on your clothing personality. So if you don't know much about your clothing personality, and you might if you watch my video, I've got some videos on that, but there are four that I like to put in uh, for, for our categories. So classic modern, though that's somebody who really pretty much likes more classic and tailored pieces. Then there's the creative original who really loves to go all out. You like to mix patterns. You can shop in vintage stores, thrift stores. You like a little color and you like a lot of pattern. And so you're, you're, you're not afraid to show your style in that manner. Style fashionistas are those who love the trends, who really uh, can put themselves together head to toe, can shop pretty much anywhere, and always is probably the one who walks in a room and people go, oh, and I, I love how you put your style together. And they think that they can't do it, right? With other people, but you can. But it's just, it's more of a trend, uh, a trendy kind of style and then maybe more of a high fashion, let's say style fashionista. And then there's the pure natural. You like uh, natural fibers, you like plaids, you like to kind of a little more on the down low when it comes to fashion, a little more subtle. And so as I was looking at the key trends for fall, there were two that stuck out to me that I think you can pretty much wear for in your wardrobe this season. But I'm gonna show you what to look for based on your style personality. So I'm gonna do that with boots and I'm gonna do that with layering pieces. And so let's take a look. The first pair of boots that you are gonna see up here come in a couple of different colors. These are from Dolce Vita. And now I'm not suggesting that you go out and spend a lot of money. I think what you can look for is kind of take my tips and then look around at some places that you might, you know, kind of, you'll know what to look for, basically. You know, if you want to go to DSW or Rack Room or, or if you're at Nordstrom or, or Sack Shop or wherever, but I'm, I'm showing you these examples just because they really are, they're, they're going to represent what I'm trying to get across to you. So these first boots are, they're tall and then they're also the shorter ankle boot. Now, I love these that I'm showing you right here because I think these would be great for a style fashionista. They've got color blocking on them. They uh, kind of a two-tone color. And what makes a Western boot a Western boot is pretty much that block heel that it's kind of like a stacked heel, I guess it's probably stacked, not blocked. But it's a stacked heel, kind of, usually you're gonna see a pointy toe in a Western boot. And so uh, so I love these for the style fashionista. Now, 
What I also love about this second pair of boot that you're gonna see here is that it does have that, uh, that pointy toe, but this next, the second boot I'm showing you, first the tall and then the short, but is a, uh, it's a white natural leather and then the, the, the fawn suede. These are by Katie. One has kind of that white, has kind of a, a reptile finish, and the other is that suede. But what I like about these, especially for a style fashionista, is they the only thing that looks really cowboy-like on it, Western-like on it, is that heel. And so because it has that stacked heel and the pointy toe, but, but it doesn't have the stitching on it that a typical cowboy boot would have or Western boot. So I think a style fashionista will really like those. All right, the next style I'm gonna cover here is for the Creative Originals. And look at these boots. These are by Dingo. This particular uh, style is called Primrose. It came in a, a multitude of colors. I'm showing it here in the black and the brown and the gray and the lavender. It has flowers on it. And if you are a creative original, you are going to love these cowboy boots. I think that they are just terrific. And honestly, I looked around and they were really the best example for a creative original. And so that's what I'm pointing out to you. When you are looking for a creative original boot, look for something that has some uniqueness to them. Again, pointy toe, that kind of stacked heel, but yet it's unique and different. The next couple pair of boots that I'm gonna show you, I think would be terrific for a classic modern. Classic Modern Love Suede, I think these are terrific because they are a little more subtle. The blue suede, the royal blue suede that is there, this, this is also by Dolce Vita, and uh, the little, the, the smaller one, the kind of fawn color brown is by BP, it's their Wallace Western booty. I think this one would be great for a pure natural. Honestly, probably the blue, whether maybe it wouldn't be in blue if you were a pure natural, but I think the blue and that brown, the, the shorter one there, would work for both a classic modern and a pure natural. I, I think those both work. And then uh, our last couple pair here, and then I'm gonna move on to layering pieces, so don't go away. And then I'm gonna tell you how to wear the Western wear. Like, what do you wear? Do you wear one piece? Do you wear two? How can you wear if it's two? And that kind of thing. All right. And so then this last pair that I'm showing you is by Sam Edelman. And I believe this would be best for either a style fashionista or a classic modern. Uh, I love this ankle boot. It's not overdone with the stitching. It kind of is, uh, it melds right in to the upper on that, on the shaft part of that boot. And I think it's classy and elegant. Here's the other thing. If you've walked through our signature style statement worksheet before, and if you haven't, you go to stylebycolor.com. You can get a signature style worksheet there. And you've chosen words. I want you to relate your words to when you're choosing your Western wear. So for example, Striking and elegant are two words that I absolutely love and I run those against anything that I'm gonna purchase. I would look at the boot and say, is this striking, is this elegant? I think both of these boots here on this page are this brown and this black. And so I would, um, it also comes in that, that lighter kind of camel color. I think, I think they're both elegant and striking. And so that's what I would look for. So it lines up with your clothing personality when you are looking for the Western core boot to add to your wardrobe this season. Now, I'm gonna move on to layering pieces, but let me say this. 
when you are getting dressed for your Western wear look, I really want to encourage you to do one Western core look at a time. Now, I know you gals in Texas, you like the belts, you like the boots, you like the jackets, the hats, all of that. For the rest of us across the country and in other parts of the world, I would say that you want to kind of keep it a little more subtle. If you were wearing one of the boots that didn't have a lot of detail on it, then by all means, you can wear one of these layering pieces that I'm going to show. But maybe if you want to wear two pieces, maybe it's a boot and a turquoise necklace. Maybe instead it's a pair of white sneakers with the layering piece. Maybe it has fringe on it and a turquoise necklace. So this way it's not kind of, you know, you're not covered from head to toe. You're choosing one or two pieces on that. So let's take a look at the Western wear layering pieces. I got a lot of these from the from Boot Barn, but the first couple are not from Boot Barn. So let's just take a look. I think this first shacket, which is between a jacket and a shirt, shackets were very popular last year. I'm seeing again, them again this year. We're not putting them in the outfit planner, FYI, for fall, but they're still out there. But I like this first shacket that you are going to see here with the fringe for a pure natural. I would go for a plaid. I would go for a little bit of fringe and not overdo it. I think, I think a, a, a pure natural would really like this piece. The next jacket I'm showing you also, I believe a pure natural would enjoy, is from Boot Barn. And it is, it was called a shacket in their, on their website. To me, it doesn't really look like a shacket because it has the, the wider shawl collar, but I, I like it. I think it's, uh, it would be great for, your, for a pure natural. It's got that Navajo kind of uh, pattern, the very, uh, you know, it's very Western looking and it has a little fringe. It's not overdone. It looks warm too. I think that would be great worn with a white blouse and a turquoise necklace. Absolutely. All right. The next shacket as well, I'm telling you, I didn't think they were going to be in and here they are. I, I would wear on, I would put on a style fashionista. It's a leather shacket with fringe. You could pair that with leather leggings. By the way, leather and leather actually is a thing this season. Last year it wasn't, it is this year. You could pair that with jeans. You could pair put that because it is more subtle with your boots for sure. But I think that's, I, I love that. The next jacket I would recommend for a style fashionista is this moto jacket with studs on it. Studs are gonna be a very uh, on-trend detail this season. But this jacket is from Boot Barn. It has, you know, multiple colors through it. But I think a style fashionista would absolutely love that. As well as this suede jacket with the animal print. Style fashionista all day long could wear this all season long. And notice she's got turquoise jewelry on here. And I think I would wear that probably with a pair of black leather boots, maybe not the Western wear boot because this would be Western enough, wear it with the turquoise jewelry. And then when you're not wearing the jacket, then you could wear your Western core boots. But one final jacket for Style Fashionista is this suede blazer. It's got some beautiful detail in it. It's got the applique and I believe that is a very sharp jacket. I also believe a classic modern would wear that and look really great in that. So speaking of classic moderns, let's move on to another jacket for a classic modern. And it's this green suede with the fringe and animal print at the shoulders. I, uh, I, I think it's beautiful. I think it's subtly done. I think it's uh, a classy jacket. And again, you want to put your words to that. Is it, does it fall in line with your style personality? 
And I think as a classic modern, this one is very tasteful. The next jacket that I'm showing for our classic modern is the pink suede jacket. I think this might have come in red also, but look how she has the, the scarf tied at the neck. And I, I love it. I think it's a very elegant jacket. Now, a lot of these jackets are pricey, but this is to give you an idea of what to look for for your style personality, not saying go here and buy this if you want to, absolutely. But, and honestly, I don't really remember the prices so much. But then let's move on to one jacket that I found for a creative original. And I just gotta leave you with this one because I think this one's stunning. Probably a style fashionista would like it as well. But look at this beautiful leather jacket. It's called the Cactus Bloom Floral Patchwork leather moto jacket the front is a little more subtle and then you turn it around and there you've got all the cactus blooms on the back and i hope that's helpful you know i think when a, a new trend comes out we wonder what do we do with it so it suits us so i don't want you to go crazy with the western trend this season but i do think it could be fun and if you live in Texas or somewhere like that, it might be all the rage for you, but you, because you always do it. But this is a way to wear the Western trend where you don't look a little crazy, but you look like you know what you're doing for the season. Let me know in the comments below which one you like the best. And if you know your style personality, put that down there. And if you're not subscribed, I would be honored if you would subscribe to my channel. All right. I will see you very soon. Bye-bye.